Morning, y'all. How goes it this morning? Hopefully well. I had planned to <clears throat> make a video on some a little better settings, but the weather's kind of crap today and and all that. And a little something I've been working on. This is <clears throat> Missouri Mearsham Cobb. I didn't care for the this way the pipe had been set up on this particular one, so I took the, the stem out of it, added a piece of antler, made this bit, it's a mouthpiece, but it's got some fissures in it, and it's way fat, so I still got work to do. I may want to trash it and, and uh, make it another one, but I call this the flyover or the, 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 the German cob, German-American cob. Um, flyover because everything's in the middle of the country. These idiots on the coast just fly over and don't think of. Food, hunting, cattle. So, but, yeah, that bit's a bit big. Like sticking a branch in your mouth. Still got to work on it. Anyways, <clears throat> this isn't the main reason. Hello, bro. This isn't the main reason for this particular but Yes, I know, I know. I know. You just want to get in the picture. You know, everyone can see how pretty you are. Anyways, um, down. The main reason for this particular video, and it just hit me this morning as I uh, got into my, watch my news that I get uh, from different outlets and YouTube and different stories and stuff. Um, if everything's going on in the world right now, <clears throat> we've got Israel surrounded by our enemies and attacked. We've got governments that are becoming authoritarians, not only around the world, but Western society, U.S. American society. Look at Canada. Um, we've got our own enemies are in our country tearing stuff down. We've got governments that are <coughs> pushing this digital currency. In fact, I uh, just watched a video, uh, Survivor Lily. She did it from a car. She was showing in Britain... There are stores that if you don't have QR codes loaded down onto your phone to buy with, you can't even get in the store to buy food. And of course, you know, she also showed what China, what they're doing in China with all that. And um, everything is kind of so controlled. It's, uh, to, well, like Charles Schwab said, you know, you will own nothing, you'll be happy because you'll be a slave. Putting chips in people so they can go and buy. Using, okay, I spoke to an old friend of mine, Bishop Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. Um, he was a sweet man. He recently passed from cancer. He reposed. Him and I, <clears throat> when the uh, when the pandemic started out. Him and I sat down and, and uh, had numerous conversations, especially when we started pushing the uh, the vaccine. And the way they were acting was very, I know what you want to think, and that's exactly what I'm say. It was very much, they were acting as if it was the mark of the beast. And I mentioned it to him, he said, you may very well be right. And he says, if this is not the mark of the beast, then it's a forerunner. Now, the way things are going, pretty much it. I think it was to see who was a sheep and who wasn't. How hard are they going to start breaking down? Things are going to go from bad to worse. And for us pipe smokers, we're just tough bastards. <laughs> but no, they are. They're going to go from bad to worse. If you're not in lockstep with everybody, 
they're going to start cutting off your bank accounts. Going to start start starving you out. They're going to make sure your car doesn't start. Why? Well, you had your car have internet hooked up to it. Got a computer hooked up to it. They're going to make it to where you can't buy food. <clears throat> they're going to starve you out. Unless you have got your house set up like it, like they do in the in Eastern Europe. They got this thing called the dacha system. Your yard is your farm. You grow anywhere from 40 to 80 percent of the food that you need for that household on your in your yard. Um, those of us who live in the country, like I do, we can hunt, we can fish, but keep in mind, everybody and their brother is going to come from the cities and they're going to want to start hunting that same property if they got the same mindset. But you're going to need to start working on security, you're going to need to start working on growing food, you're going to need to start working on canning. <clears throat> Transportation. Um, a lot of people, well, I got an old car. Well, old cars don't only go good when you can get parts for old cars. You can get gas and oil for old cars, and these things take money to buy. I'd make a recommendation that you go out and you find, if you have the yard, if you have the room, and capability, find a pony, find a donkey, a small donkey. Hell, even the miniature ones will have some, some use. You can hook a cart to them. They can hold stuff for you. Um, I've read numerous articles through the years in, uh, in uh, donkey mule magazines and mother magazines back when mother... Uh, was a pretty good publication um, about people using tiny ponies like Shetlands <clears throat> and miniature donkeys and stuff like that in their garden for plowing as draft animals. These things were originally, these animals were originally bred for, for work anyway, work in um, mines and stuff like that. Welsh ponies. Uh, they're, they're perfectly good for, for riding. Let's weigh 1,200 pounds. And don't worry, if this happens, you'll slim up. But also for, uh, for two-wheel carts and for small wagons and stuff. You can haul stuff. Um, and you say, Keith, oh, that's cool. Well, you, you're full of it. Well, look at, go to the BBC. Look at any um, BBC program from... World War II back. Look at old English movies. I watch them running around. Uh, not just horses, but ponies. Uh, there's um, a real good series called Total History um, on the BBC. They, you can learn a lot there. While the information is out there, start looking up, start learning, start getting it in the noggin, and work figure out a way that you can implicate it in your home and in your life. Um, because it's going to do nothing but go downhill from there. It really is. I mean, we had a perfectly good president, legally, uh, um, righteously elected, and they just committed a coup and overthrew him and done nothing but try and tear him down and all of his supporters. They would rather go after the supposed January 6th folk then stop child traffickers. Think about that. They would rather go after people on January 6th than go after the Palestine, not Palestine, the um, Hamas uh, protesters that are trying to bust their way, actually are trying to violently bust their way into the White House and into, into Congress and stuff like that. Hard to hear anything about that. So things are coming together. You look at the big picture, look at all of it, it ain't looking good. It's kind of looking like the last chapter in a certain big black book we all know of. So, I pray that I'm wrong. I really do. There's a lot of stuff I'd like to do before then. And, uh, so anyways, but there that is. Anyway, my thoughts, y'all take care. Talk to you later.